everybody. So in this video, we're talking about multi-step equations. So what we want to do is find a value for x. So I have a couple of examples that we're going to do, and then we will look at infinite and no solutions. So what we're going to want to do here is distribute. So 6 times 2 is going to give us 12x. 6 times negative 6 is going to give us negative 36. Negative 7 times negative 2x is positive 14. And then negative 7 times 4 is negative 28. Now what we want to do is we want to isolate. So we want all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other. Typically what I do with this is I'm always going to move the smaller x. That way I don't have to worry about working with a negative. So here I will subtract 12x from both sides. And this, this gives me negative 36 equals 2x minus 28. And then I will add the 28. So negative 36 plus 28, this is going to give us 8. That's negative, and this equals 2x. And when I divide by 2, I'm going to get negative 4 is the value for x. Now, all that means is that if I took the number negative 4 and I substituted it in for x, both sides of this equation would be equal. Okay, let's look at another one. And there's a specific reason why I chose this example. So 8 times 5 is going to give us 40x. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. 6 and negative 4 is negative 24. Same concept here. Take all the numbers, move them on one side. All the letters, the x's, move them to the other. So I like to move the smaller x. So here I will add 18 to both sides. And then because we're putting the x's on the left, here I'll add 24. So I'll do that in a different color. So we can see I'm kind of doing two steps at once here. So this is going to give us 58x equals negative 24 plus 24 is 0. And then 0 divided by anything is itself. Now, one thing that I've seen a lot of students do in their um, math journey is when they get x is equal to zero, for some reason they think this is no solution. All right, that is not true. Anytime x equals a number, that number is the solution. Okay, there are very specific times when you have an infinite solution and no solution. And I'm going to show those to you now. So here, this problem is going to yield an infinite solution, and then this problem here will yield a no solution. So let's see what these look like. So 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 2 is 6. Minus 3x equals 6 plus 3x. So we need to combine like terms. So I'm going to combine this 6x with this 3x. So here I have 3x plus 6 equals 6 plus 3x. Now, here you can see how each side is the exact same. 3x plus 6 equals 6 plus 3x. These are identical. It does not matter what number you plug in for x each side of the equal sign is going to be the same. This means there are an infinite number of solutions. So we can keep solving this algebraically to see what this would yield. This is going to give me 0x equals 0. Now, people see this and they think, oh no, okay, what's wrong here? I'm getting 0 equals 0. Does that mean no solution? It does not. This means both sides are balanced. So if I look back here in the blue, it doesn't matter what number you plug in, it's always going to be the same on both sides of the equal sign. So that's what it means to be an infinite solution. 
Here's what it looks like if I have no solution. So I have 3x minus 13. 7 times x is 7x. 7 times 2 is 14. Minus 4x plus 28. Now, don't forget that. That negative 4 goes to the x and it goes to the negative 4. I see a lot of students forgetting that double distribution. So on the right-hand side, I'm going to combine this 7x with this 4x, and I'm going to combine this 14 with this 28. So here I have 3x minus 13. 7x minus 4x is 3x. 14 plus 28 is going to be 42. Now here, we're going to finish solving. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. And now what I have is negative 13 equals 42. This will always happen with no solutions. The x's will cancel. The numbers that are left are not the same. And you can even notice that here. 3x minus 13, 3x plus 42. The coefficient in front of the x is the same, but the number here is different on both sides. That means that it does not matter what number you plug in. You cannot plug in a number to make these balance. So here, we would say this has no solution, and you may see some teachers notate it like this, a zero with a line through it. This means no solution. All right, this does not mean zero, right? Remember, we looked at a problem like this. If x equals zero, that is a solution. The only time I have no solution is when my variables cancel out the numbers that remain are not the same. All right, that's going to be all for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.